this is Tim and um, this is Life with A Family. At the moment we are looking at making Olo Olo uh, and um, Olo Olo is made out of uh, green banana and uh, the good old overripe bananas and if you have any overripe bananas that uh, you need to get rid of this is the best way to uh, to use them. I really like the taste as mum and dad always make this so um, it's going to be exciting because uh, I'm now what, 45 years of age and um, we're going to have a crack at, see at seeing if I can remember my childhood memory. How's that? So ingredients, simple, green banana and ripe bananas. Okay, and what we'll do, peel them all. Um, so I'm going to peel these uh, green banana with my little um, or um, peeler. Um, and after peeling them all, uh, peeling the green banana, um, we'll use the grater here to uh, to grate all the green banana. And we'll also kind of puree the, 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 the ripe banana and uh, mix them up together after that. Uh, I actually grew up uh, peeling these green bananas, so no problems there. Um, It is, it is important that you use this little piece of uh, equipment here. It makes it easier for you to poke through uh, the skin. If you didn't have that tool, you'll end up doing something like this, trying to peel it like how you normally peel a, um, a ripe banana, but then you end up leaving part of the skin out. So it's not ideal. So I normally catch it from the top, point this bit to me, go first like that and then also I break off this little bit here so that that doesn't get left behind there and um, there you go so and there's little bits of skins left behind here you just go and skim it like that and they will come off and uh, this skin here is really good for compost um, or worm farm we're going to um, use one, two, three, a green banana bunch. And this is kind of a nice little dedication for mum and dad because um, when I was little, about 10, 11, they used to, uh, to cook this sort of food, all amazing traditional food. My um, intention is, um, is to make this Samoan food and um, give you a bit of um, knowledge about this food like pea sua that we cut down this massive palm tree as a certain palm tree that we made uh, house thatches from and get the inside of the palm tree and um, and use make pea sua uh, because we use the starch of that see this this is a write-off because that is uh, no good so we'll throw that away that banana is not uh, fully developed or it's got some sort of disease that uh, stop it from um, growing. Just use the nice uh, white flesh banana. Because we're having the ripe banana there, that is, that is what is going to give it a nice sweet taste. Banana actually have uh, quite a uh, quite a sticky sap in the skin, so expect to have sticky hands. Not not too much. It depends on the type of banana that you use.
all all the normally get done with uh, fight paka we call them uh, P A K A it's a type of uh, banana species it's actually uh, thicker banana and shorter so fight paka is only used because of the volume and the moment we've got a good amount of bananas this will build our volume it shouldn't give us uh, too much of a difference with taste we'll see if it works out we'll see if it works out we'll see if it works out the next step is we're going to use the grater to create the the, the banana not banana um, <laughs> Traditionally, we use our hands to mash the banana, but the potato masher is good enough for that job. So I use this part here first and then I realize I end up with uh, strips of um, banana instead of mashed or a nice paste. So not that side, not that side, not this side which is the tinier version of these holes here but it's a side where it's kind of like as if you go and poke holes out from the inside. That's the side you use for grating the banana. Now, that there is kind of um, too puree. We try and use the puree idea, but it turned out to uh, look like a smoothie instead of uh, looking like the texture that we want here. So I got five more to go after this. Then uh, it will be time to mix the two ingredients. The moment I'm thinking chocolate chips will be, be really nice in this mixture. This is puree. Uh, this is proper way of, I think, how it should be done. And not streaky, okay? So use the right part of the grater. So looking at it, it looks like a big dough and uh, looks like we're making a big cake but we are making pads. Temperature range is 180 degrees Celsius to 200. Believe it or not, my nose is now catching the beautiful scent of that oro oro when it's cooked. I, I could actually smell it now while it's raw. Hello, really um, how long would we need to cook it? Uh, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 180 Celsius. We need to preheat the oven as well. Okay, now we're going to put some of the banner on and wrap it up. You can see it's quite uh, runny. I will say out of that, I will say we end up with about um, maybe 12 to 16 loaf. Might be a bit too much there, but anyway. Did 
Okay, so I, I'm gonna sprinkle that. This is just a try and error. Yum. few of these uh, dolls that we took. The one thing I actually forgot to do with, with the foil is actually coating the inside before placing the doll inside the tin foil. So I will expect that it will be very sticky when I open this up. So there you go. Now this one here is one with, uh, with chocolate. We obviously you can see chocolate bits in there. Um, and it's like I said, it's very sticky. So it's kind of like that. It, it doesn't look that appealing. Um, but what what I'm gonna do now is I think is get a, a spoon and try it out. On this one here, because it's a baking paper, it's gonna do the job. It doesn't need any coconut. Cream. It's only the foil that we need to coat the inside before we place the dough in there. But I think um, I'm actually looking forward to um, to see how this chocolate one pan out. It would be nice to have it with a coffee. And fortunately, my wife gave me a nice cafe coffee. Now that. Is how I remember it. <laughs> mm. It's awesome. I think, even though I never make them, that there is perfect. Uh, you see that these turn out fairly good. Um, but of course, we bake them in banana leaf coated with um, coconut cream. Cheers.